Hello, I'm Luke Bouchard and welcome to today's Forgiveness Declaration card draw. It is this. I forgive myself for believing that I should not talk about my private thoughts. Okay, let's take a look at my reduction. Make it just a bit larger. There we go. I forgive myself for believing that I should not talk about my private thoughts. There's a direct correlation between poor mental health, specifically depression, and how connected we feel to others. The greater the feeling and sense of isolation, the darker and more unforgiving the world appears. And it is this black and white thinking of the ego that keeps us in, this, in the dream of estrangement, strife, and pain. The course is very clear that we have a way out of our suffering and misery. When dreams are shared, they lose their function of attack and separation, even though it was for this that every dream was made. Yet nothing in the world of dreams remains without the hope of change and betterment, for here is not where the changelessness is found. Let us be glad indeed that, it, that this is so, and seek not the eternal life of the world. Seek not the eternal in this world. Forgiving dreams, are, forgiving dreams are the means to step aside from dreaming of a world outside yourself and leading finally beyond all dreams onto the peace of everlasting life. So uh, the thing I want to say about this reduction is that we, we, we often choose to go it alone. We often choose to be isolated. We, we choose that we have to go through our suffering alone. And, you know, we, we know very clearly, as I mentioned in the reduction, that there is a direct correlation between, uh, you know, how depressed someone feels and how cut off they are from the world. And it, it's this propensity that we have to think that we are suffering alone or that we're only, our experience is only indicative to ourselves and that no one else would understand us. And this is what the ego wants. The ego wants us to be uh, disconnected from God, disconnected from others. The ego wants us to be entrenched in our fears and our beliefs of how, you know, unworthy we are. And so if you are particularly feeling disconnected and estranged from others and that you are, you know, going it alone, I highly recommend that you find someone that you can share your private thoughts with and talk about them because it is a choice to be isolated. It may not be popular message, but it is definitely a choice to be isolated from others. And all we have to do is reach out to others. Something else that um, I, I've heard recently and believe firmly is, is that if you are in a dark place, then go volunteer, go do, go be of service to others because it is in that service, which is a form of joining. And the ego's purpose is to have us separated from God. It's to create that distance and and how we overcome that distance how we get past that distance or bridge that gap is by connecting with others so separation is a choice isolation is a choice and i have had my share of isolation and separation from others and there, i've gone through some very dark times where i have felt like there i don't have many options i'm alone and it is only through reaching out to others that this separation can end. Now, what do I want to say about this image? Well, I, I shot at the, um, the zoo here in Edmonton. It's kind of a zoo. Um, it's not really like some zoos <laughs> that are really spectacular, but it's, it's, it's okay. And, and there is this, uh, they have zebras, of course, and this is, this is a, I don't know what you call a baby zebra. Is that a foal? like a horse anyway and I thought this picture was very very befitting of not only black and white thinking but what we have here is an image of a baby zebra that is looking burdened and not happy and that's why I thought it worked really well with this image all right I'm Luke Bouchard thanks so much for uh, watching and listening to my reduction there'll be another one coming up right away and 
trying to think of what else I have going on. Um, I've been invited to speak at another chapter's Indigo, and that's going to be in St. Albert, Alberta, and that's happening in October, but there'll be more details on the future. Thanks so much again for uh, being with me and communing with me. And I just want to share that uh, it, peace can only be achieved through forgiveness. Mm -hmm. And if you wish for greater peace of mind, we, you must forgive or you can be tortured. And it is that forgiveness that is also a way of sharing our private thoughts. All right. You take care now. Much love.